Lindelof fails to come across to deal with the ongoing issue. Oh no, what's going on there? Oh my goodness me, this just makes no sense. I'm Rashford, nice ball over the top, go on. Supports the light, first touch, perfect. Right foot shot, there we go. We... Kimmich. That's right, we... come on man, this is just ridiculous. Pellegrini scores from a really tight angle. David Ahel should be doing much better as near post, it's 2-1. In a, in a moment, in a heated situation like this, where the game decides to take matters into his own hands and not switch me to the player that could actually put the cutback away. And now Bayern Munich have gone and separated themselves from us. It's 3-1. Oh my goodness me, I can't believe this. Welcome to another episode of uh, this Manchester United career. Well, this is episode number 36, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it today because uh, I definitely am with uh, the low amounts of energy I have left to give you guys so yeah we're going to quickly head over to the calendar just to quickly talk about what's going to happen okay so i think something has changed what has changed so before it did say west ham united but i think i forgot to save it when i advanced forward so now all of a sudden we are playing middlesbrough in the fifth round of the fa cup which is pretty much um, a chilled out relaxed kind of game we're going to be away from home at the riverside stadium i am expecting to beat them um, but yeah, I was expected to play West Ham United. That's why I'm kind of caught off guard. But yeah, in the last episode, we did win our last game. However, we didn't start off um, good at all. Uh, we did concede. I think we were two 0 Yeah, we were two 0 down against Arsenal. We made a comeback and we managed to get to three three. So um, yeah, it's, it's actually been a roller coaster of um, of, a, of an episode. That last one, at least. We lost three one to Bayern Munich. We do have a bit of. Um, a bit of work to do. I won't say it's a mountain to climb, but we've got some work to do in the very next episode and we won for one, which I just mentioned. We're going to kick this episode off in the cup final against Manchester City. Um, normally, I wait till the end to have like the main event, but this is bang on at the beginning. So I just hope you guys don't bail out after you find out what happens in the cup final. And then we're going to cap the episode off with a game against Chelsea at home. So no games were played off camera, so there's nothing really much to report on in terms of... Uh, the league tables i am gonna go straight into this uh cup final because there's not much to talk about as you guys already know when um when once i cover like the january transfer window the menu talk and all of that stuff kind of dies dies down and starts to dip because it becomes business as usual on the field and um yeah in terms of like youth players and all of that stuff we don't really talk about them until like maybe april may because that's when a lot of the growth happens so yeah, um, for the next couple of episodes, you might just see me go straight or transition into games, um, or then just waffle into the men uh, waffle in the menu. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. But yeah, without further ado, let's head off into this cup final. I know you guys have been waiting for this. Hopefully, we don't bottle it. Hopefully, we can add a, a, the first the first piece of silverware of 2025 to our cabinet. Okay, so in this cup final, we are going strong. We are going to start off with Dav De Gea in gold, the lows at the battle, Lindelof, Martinez, and Malassia. In the midfield, we have Benesse as our number six. Our number 10 is Bruno Fernandes. Our number eight is Van der Beek. Our number nine is Rashford. On the left-hand side, we have Shao Felix. On the right-hand side, we have Anthony. So Aaron Wambasaka has some explaining to do. Edison's in goal. At the back, they have Aaron Wambasaka, Kimpembe. Diaz and Cancelo. In the midfield, they have Rodri, Coop Minas and Phillips. On the left-hand side, they have Phil Foden. Haaland is their number nine down the middle and Ocampos is on the right-hand side. Okay, so the game is on the way. The cup final is here. We're attacking to the right, Man City are attacking to the left. This is business as usual. It's just another day at Wembley. Uh, that's my, that's my uh, mentality going into this game. We don't want to make this occasion bigger than it needs to be. Don't need to apply that pressure to the players. Uh, we are experiencing a slight, a slight, slight, slight dip in form. We've not lost too many games this season. It wouldn't be right to throw our bags out of... Um... Sorry, I got a bit distracted. Yeah, it won't, it won't be... Um, yeah, it won't be good to just uh, blow it out of proportion, those defeats. But... Uh... Sorry. 
I'm very, uh, I'm very um, conscious of Haaland. <laughs> this ability to just run through the, the centre. Oh, God, see, this is what I mean. One ball forward. Haaland takes a shot and David De Gea does enough to put him off. Yeah, basically what I was trying to say, I don't want to overreact. My players have been very consistent throughout the season. They've been very good going forward. Come on, Anthony. Come on, man. Final third decision-making, the execution as well. All of that stuff, we need to nip that in the bud. I haven't got, I got, I haven't got the energy or the time to coach these guys into making the right passes in this game. Please, just make the right pass. Here's Malassia. All played into the box. Why is Rashford getting in the way? And why is it being aimed at Rashford? I'm aiming for Anthony, mate. There's uh, Shao Felix. Come on, Rashford turns. Right foot shot. Not testing out the keeper. The ball. Plays it into Phillips. Well done, Lindelof. Makes it an intervention. Side his penalty area. Bruno Fernandes has Anthony ahead of him. Anthony has the option of Rashford to his left. But is Rashford going to make the space? He does. Oh, my goodness me. And this is what I mean. The final ball is very crucial. And it, time after time, it does it. It's been doing it this season. Just play it across the six-yard box. Don't play it too close to the defender. If anything, make the defender have to work to intercept that. My man's just literally directly looked the man in the eye and give him the, given him the ball. 19 minutes gone. Oh, come on. Bit of first touch, Shao Felix. Van der Beek. Malassia. Ooh, well done from the Dutchman. Cuts it back into Shao Felix. Shao Felix takes a shot. No, Kimbembe's in the way. Rashford. It's really crowded in this box. A lot of blue shirts. Malassia. Far post ball. Cleared up by Cancelo. Okay, so we're pretty much at the half hour mark now. Still nil nil. We've obviously had the better chances, as you've seen, but they're not clear cut. There's a Van der Beek. Shao Felix. Shao Felix to open the scoring. To open the scoring. I've been really livid with this guy's performances the last couple of episodes. He's had a few woeful cameos off the bench, woeful starts, and he's basically redeemed himself now. He's opened the scoring at Wembley to give us the lead in this Carabao Cup final against Manchester City. Really motivated to double this lead. Make sure these guys are cautious at the back. Ireland, all it takes is that one ball over the top. There's the low. Thinks it into the centre. Aaron Wambasaka gets that cleared. Foden follows up with a header. Ireland. Coop Minas now. Ocampos has several runners ahead of him. One of them's Phillips, surprisingly. Ireland. Plays it to his right. Aaron Wambasaka. Wambasaka inside the penalty area. Ooh, does well. Oh, shimmies the ball to his right. Takes a shot and David a help. Makes a save. Oh, what's happened there? What has happened there? Foden. Takes the shot. David De Gea pounces upon it. I thought Foden was going to slip. Haaland in. Well, not in. Just sweat it to Haaland and uh, make it 1-1. It's gone alone. So you still have the ball. Step overs from Cancelo. They're really building up momentum. City keep meaners outside the box. As David De Gea is forced to make another save. Marcus Rashford. I'm going to do something um, incredibly stupid. I'm going to take the shot. It might be too much power. Oh, no, it's not. It really tried and tested Edison from that range. He's forced to make a save. Oh, I don't know why I tried to load up a shot with Martinez. Man City on the break now. Two minutes added on. Malassi wins the ball high up the pitch. Lovely stuff from the Dutchman. There's Ocampos into Coop Minas. No, I think that's it for the first half. Come on, boys. Well done. Well done, Ben. That's it. One last attack. Shao Felix down this left hand side. Bruno Fernandes, left foot shot. Edison again with another save. How many shots is it going to take to double this lead? Oh my goodness me. We played really well in the first half. Definitely a strong end to the first half as well. We're going into the interval, 1 0 up in this cup final. Shao Felix is obviously the star of the first half. Can he maintain that level of performance? He didn't really play too well overall in terms of his game. But that goal definitely elevates his match rating. He's on the way for the second half and uh, we're attacking to the left seat, attacking to the right. Get up the low. The last thing we want is to be forced to make a sub in the final due to a knock. 
Looks like he's back on his feet. Malassia plays a nice ball into Donny van der Beek. His first touch wasn't good enough to take him past Kempembe. Okay, so more, more subs from City. They mean business. Herrera, I think that's Yoel Herrera. Herrera. He's on for Calvin Phillips. Well done, Felix. Beats wan in the air. Van der Beek plays the ball over the top. Rashford gets a touch on it. Oh, he's caught up by Ruben Diaz. Such a hard partnership to, to get past. They're not slow themselves and they're physically strong. Okay, so we are making three changes. Martial, Timba and Shatire, they're making their way on. We are taking off Shao Felix, the goal scorer. We're also taking off Donny van der Beek and taking off the low, who's also got a knock. So three changes made in the final. Hopefully this can spur us on to grab a second. As Ben Asir into Shola Shatire. Cameo off the bench in the final. Every young player's dream, especially an academy player. Haaland. Heads it down until Campos has gone one. Timber up there with his first piece of action by intercepting a pass. Anthony. Got Cancelo on him. Anthony looks like he's slowing down a bit. Coming sluggish in this game. Timber puts a ball into the box. The porter's there. It was a replacement for Aaron Wambasaka. I don't think crossing's going to be an option. They've got real, real powerhouses in the air at the back for them. Well done, Malassia. Taken out. Referee, man. Do your job. You only have one task and one task only. It's uh, Martial. Come on, Martial. Release that ball. Release it as soon as possible. There's no 17. need to sub him off for Kukure. As uh, Phil Foden's going forward now. Cancelo. Well done, Benesip. Foden slips in a can pass and it's 1-1 and this is exactly what I mean this is exactly what I mean I say this every episode it just doesn't add up why are my players just allowing sloppy passes in behind Manchester City have found the equaliser looks like we may be going extra time if we can't find the goal in the final six minutes like this real patient from Foden real patient from City overall bought himself some time in the first half he would take a shot outside the box in the second half he slips in his teammate instead unselfishly and our campus does the job okay we were trying to avoid extra time but here we are sloppy defending sloppy um play up front has led us to this position rashford i'm just gonna do what harland wait what why did i not do that the whole match why did I not do that the whole match? If it was that easy, is that a kickoff glitch or something? Kickoff glitches should not be happening in career mode. But Edison's booked. We've got a penalty at the beginning of the first half of extra time. <laughs> Bruno Fernandes. Oh, this is going really fast. We're going to go top left. This is sweet. This is sweet. Can't make any of this up. Can't make any of this up. Okay, so Bruno Fernandes, ball in. I'm, I'm, guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm losing my head. I'm losing it. I'm literally, I'm losing it. Ramel HD is losing it. I feel like Jurgen Klopp right now. I'm losing it. <laughs> Here's a Martial, Shatire, Alanga, Anthony Alanga restores the lead. Thank you. I don't think you understand how hard it is to get players motivated enough to get into those sort of positions and take those sort of chances. Anthony Alanga came on late in normal time and uh, he could potentially be the hero if there's no more goal scored in extra time. It's 2-1. Done. Alanga. Martial. Anthony Martial. Uh, Rashford. What is Rashford doing, man? Oh, my goodness me. It's been happening all game. All we need is to start one guy to run next to me and I can just sweat it. But the player just slows down or just, just hangs back with the centre-back who's marking him. It's just so frustrating. I'm very drained from this one match. I don't know how we're going to get through the rest of the episode. It's got to get done. See, I'm just trying to get the bodies forward. Patrick Schick. Well done, Lindelof. One minute added on. Go on, Marshy out. Make that run. One last hurl at it. Come on, Rashford. Get the ball out of your feet and play the pass. Chick. Chick. On the ball. Long shot. Outside side. Outside the box. And there we go. There we go. We have clinched it. We have won the Carabao Cup. 
Oh, this would have been rather traumatic if we didn't go on to win this. I mean, pff, what a way to win it. We missed the penalty in extra time, struggled in the second half, rubbing my hands at the prospect of Martinez lifting another trophy. The red and white ribbons on this domestic cup. One really really happy that we got this over the line i don't think you understand how annoying that game was getting but Lissandro martinez lifts another trophy manchester united win the first piece of silverware of 2025 and uh may that give us the momentum to retain the premier league and retain the champions league we'll see we like i've said numerous occasions in this episode we've got a lot of work to do to make a comeback but we need to get back to it. Next, we have a game in the FA Cup in the fifth round against Middlesbrough. And if we play anything how we played in the second half, we're on course for an upset. Again, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so Diogo Dolo, he's out from now until the end of the season. As you can see, we're in March. He has about three months out. Uh, that means he's not going to be back until maybe late May or early, early June. So, um, yeah. We're probably going to have to look to the reserves. And uh, yeah, it's probably one of the best moments for players like Dominic Day and uh, Justice Mensah. I'm probably going to give Dominic Day... Uh, ooh, it's actually going to be hard because they're both the same um, the same age now. I might give Justice Mensah a few games off camera to like play against the fringe sides. And then I'm probably going to make up my mind on which one's going to be propelled. Because um, Dominic Day, I didn't have enough time on the pitch with him. Uh, Justice Mensah, I've never used him. Not in a not a day in my life. So, yeah, it's going to be hard to pick who's going to be my second choice right back. It's going to be difficult for one of these guys to fill in the shoes of Diogo Dolo. A lack of experience, one. And two, like, we, we are chasing trophies. We are trying to win. This is not the time uh, to nurture a young talent into the first team. But it's going to have to happen. We're outside of the transfer window. I'm not going to recall anyone back. I don't think we even have anyone worth recalling in that position anyway. Let me double check. No, we don't. We don't have any right backs that are worth uh, recalling to play there. So either way, we're in um, we're in the deep end with the injury situation. I've noticed since the update, we've had a lot more injuries. I'm not complaining. It's a, it's a part of football. And it does make my career mode even more interesting. If anything, I'm kind of happy to have these sort of dilemmas, so it's not too easy. I have to think of, um, I have to think off my off my feet, and um, yeah, and try to adapt. But yeah, as you can see, we are we are suffering a bit. Well, yeah, I don't want to be in the menu complaining a bit too much. So let's get straight into the next game. We have a few inboxes. Let me quickly address them. I know I'm uh, about to probably weren't ready. Just wanted to let you know, this guy's tapped. You play two different sides. I don't know why. I'm not even going to give Warren a response. So, yeah, the next game's against Middlesbrough uh, in the Riverside Stadium. Because we may have gone over time with the Man City game, we are probably going to try and make this as quick of highlights as possible. And then we're going to cover Chelsea. Um, if that game's interesting, we're going to cover it as extensive as possible. So, we're about to play this next game against Middlesbrough at the Riverside Stadium as the FA Cup fifth round is about to get on the way. We have rotated the squad a bit. We have a few players that are tired. So, um, yeah, we had to take into account that they just played a heavy encounter battle against Manchester City and went to extra time as well and played both halves. So, um, yeah, I did say in the menu that we probably will see an upset. It's not unlikely, it's not unrealistic, and it's not far-fetched, but I am expecting a victory. I, I'm expecting it to be business as usual, like I said, going into the Manchester City game. And, uh, yeah, we should be obliterating them. So the game's on the way. We're attacking to the left, they're attacking to the right. We're in our white uh, jersey, black shorts, white socks. Okay, I'm just moving this ball around. Trying to deal the first blow as quick as possible. Supports the light. All over the top. Cleared out by a... Uh, don't know how to pronounce his name. Didn't even quite catch that, if I'm honest with you. Cooker Ray. Van der Beek, long shot. <sighs> Almost beat Cooper. Almost beat him, potentially. Martial. Anthony. Does really well. 
She takes a shot. Dice still with the block. So what's the light into Timber? Kukure, long shot outside the box. Uh, we're just popping shots outside the box. Cooper is dealing with them. He's eating them up. He distributes the ball to the center circle. Corbin heads it down into Galanopoulos. I think, that's, I think I said that correctly. Corbin, the Jones. Ball play down the line and Menez is there. So far, Middlesbrough haven't been too lucky with their three balls in behind. Galanopoulos outside the penalty area. Coburn back into Galanopoulos. Plays it to his right into Jones. Middlesbrough being really patient. It's probably the best pattern of a possession that they've had so far in this game. What is going on? How have you given a free kick for that, man? The refereeing on this game is just so poor. So poor. Oh, if he goes on to score this, I'm going to be livid. Galanopoulos. There's a few people standing over the free kick with him. Galanopoulos runs over it. Dummies it. Marcos Antonio hits it. Really wide, not really troubling the keeper. Martial plays it to his right into Anthony. Donny van der Beek in the centre. Don't really find him. You only pick out a red shirt. That play gets the ball cleared. Galanopoulos. Hope. Plays it to his right into Coburn. Coburn inside the penalty area. Jones. Coburn. Simple passes and we're falling for it as Coburn takes a shot at, his, at the near post of Lafont. Forces him to make a save. We played in the behind by Bola. Coburn. Oh, not Coburn. Sorry, Hope. Hope. Bola. Come on, Bollard just runs into the penalty area and LaCroix just stands there and allows him to do so, which just really grinds my gears. Look at that. Shocking defending from the Frenchman. Well done, LaCroix. Come on. I just I just love it. It chooses to have an input delete in that crucial moment to get the ball away. Oh my goodness me. There we go. This game's a cheat, man. The game's an absolute cheat, bro. The game's an absolute cheat, man. The game's an absolute cheat. I just don't understand why every pass I tried with LaCroix didn't beat any red shirt. And as soon as a red shirt gets on the ball, he has a big boost into my penalty area and just smashes it in without LaCroix trying. Not LaCroix, LaFont trying. Look at this. He dies before he's even connected with the shot. He's hit straight at him as well. Our, our FA Cup curse continues. And that's it, guys. I think we're done. We're done with the FA Cup. We're competing for too much. And these guys just don't have the ball. They don't have the mentality to do the quadruple. I don't think we're ever going to achieve it in the save with these players. Very wishy-washy. Look at that. No one getting forward. We're trailing. No one getting forward. And somehow we managed to score with only three players in the box. We've had bare players in our half throughout the game. And a lot of opportunities. And you don't put it away. This game, man. I'm really, emotionally, I'm up to here with it. <laughs> For this episode, at least, it's 1-1. How the mighty have fallen. We've looked, we looked so unbeatable at the start of the season, at the start of the campaign. Our mediocre clubs can hold us to extra time. There's Sabosolai. Come on, man. Quality is just not there in front of their goal. Jones. Come on, man. Well done, LaCroix. Getting really fed up. These guys are getting tired. They've barely done anything. They've not worked hard enough and they... They know what tight. Come on, stop doing that now, man. I'm getting frustrated. I'm passing the ball to the wing. Stop kicking it to the guy that's barely marking the wing. It's happened for the last two episodes and it's cost me goals. It's cost me a lot of goals. Sabosolai. Kukare. Oh, come on, ding that over the top. <sighs> Makoko with the shot. It's safe from Cooper. I'm starting to believe there's something going on here. Heading off into the second half of extra time. 
It's 1-1. One, one. The box are light. Plays the ball into the box. Ball cleared. Lenehan follows up with an arrow clearance. Again, no, no fight and desire for my players to get to the second ball. Anthony. The boss alive. Barely can get the ball under control, man. It's all over the place. Anthony, 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. Anthony scored a goal. Second half of extra time. Best well, the best man in the world has struck again. I'm sorry, guys. I can't I can't act excited. I'm I'm really frustrated. The goals I I excited for, I'm excited for, I'm excited for. That goal, there was no excitement behind it whatsoever. It's just high levels of drainedness. I'm just so drained, really drained from the poor patterns of uh, play, the lack of determination to bust the gut, to get into the opposition box, the sloppiness at the back, the random, random um, periods of poor goalkeeping. Like David Ahir will save a ton of shots and just let one shot just go down the middle and beat him. There's Kukare, right foot shot. Hasn't got a shot on him. Kukare, Sancho. Of course, Cooper's going to save that. So we have a one minute added on and we played two and a half minutes. And uh, there we have it. We're through, we're through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. And uh, yeah, I haven't got much to say. I'm really frustrated, really drained. I'm really disappointed with the performance in both games we got a victory in both of them it's just the manner that we we had to do it in let's just get into the last game man i don't really want to go into the menu let's play chelsea i, I really wasn't looking forward to that match because of the potential annoyance that's uh, gonna come my way let's just get out of the way okay so there's no intro no intro i'm i'm at that i'm at that stage i'm at that stage of this episode where i can just hang up hang up the boots and just call it a day but well, we have to play this final game. It was promised. Uh, we, we get kicked off at Old Trafford. We're attacking to the right. Chelsea are attacking to the left. And um, yeah, I'm just anticipating a lot of bullshit <laughs> in this uh, last game. I'm going to be open and honest with you guys. Going to be open and honest. There's probably going to be a lack of unbiased commentary. I'm not going to lie to you. The last two games, yeah. I'm not in, yeah. Let's just, let's just say yeah. <laughs> Mid-table side, I am expecting to win. On oh, my, everyone's just flat-footed. Everyone's flat-footed. From from the start of this episode to the end of it, every player's been flat-footed. Every player I've, I've had to force to do something special on the ball. I mean, I'm going to show you guys the good times. I definitely have to show you guys the bad times. Holding X. Hold an X. Pass the ball to the left. I'm going to stop accelerating with these idiots. These guys are numpties. They have no sense of ball control whatsoever. Whatsoever. Rashford, look at that. Like, there's a way to accelerate without being a numpty. And I like how every time they take a first touch, the ball bounces up. It doesn't strike their hand. But when my players are in little situations like that, it always strikes their hand. Always turning over possession. Oh, what a ball over the top. Like, why do you need to do it so far to the right, bro? I'm aiming it straight. So how are you adding direction when I'm not asking for direction? <sighs> Correa. Thank you, Lindelof. I swear to you, Lindelof. If you let that ball go through, I would have just... I would have just sat back in the chair and just fallen asleep. I was just pure tiredness of this game. I'm just so tired, so fed up of misplaced passes. Martinez, Malasia. I'm going to start flying into poor challenges. That's what ends up happening when I'm solely frustrated. I don't voice my uh, my annoyance. I take action. 38 minutes gone. It's still nil-nil. I anticipated this game was going to be this way. It's 
71 minutes gone. And yet again, we find ourselves at nil-nil. Another boring episode where we could potentially be drawing. Rashford opens the scoring. I spoke too soon. Marcus Rashford in a dull and dry and dead game. His expertise is to finish, and that's exactly what he's done in a really cagey game. 1-0, left foot strike across Mendy. Oh, we were crying out for a goal. I can, I'm not even animated. I literally just want to take one of these guys out. Because look, Raheem Sterling's just running at some mad rapid pace. Diogo Carlos, of course. Lukaku. 87 minutes gone. Rashford, Anthony. Anthony, I swear to you, if you don't make the right pass. There we go. There we go. We were crying out. We were crying out for the sweat. Throughout this whole episode, we finally got the sweat that we've been crying out for. We put the game to bed. It's 2-0 against Chelsea. And this is what it means to us and the fans. Poor, poor performances throughout this episode. But we managed to clinch another victory. And I don't know how we've done it. We've played worse than we did in the previous episode. And we barely could even get a result. And we've just gone and stolen three points without even doing much. Rashford. Tried to slip Anthony in behind. No luck there. But the 93rd minute is now arrived. Three minutes have been played. The final whistle has been blown. 2 0 victory at Old Trafford. Marcus Rashford opened the scoring, broke the deadlock. Bruno Fernandes at the end put the nail in the coffin. Uh, really poor Chelsea side. We're really close to actually getting a point from us. But luckily, luckily, the players showed fight and determination towards the end in the final 10 minutes. Let's head off into the menu. This has been a really draining episode. I'm sure you guys are probably happy to see the end of it too. Okay, so we're in the menu now. We're about to cap off this um, really, really um, hard to sit through kind of episode. And uh, yeah, we just want to re reflect the table and just be in and out, be in and out. Uh, we, we've enjoyed a lot. We've enjoyed a lot on camera. And uh, yeah, I think it's about time to relieve ourselves of that pressure uh, by calling it end. To the episode but yeah as you can see on top of the table as per usual 27 games played with 64 points Liverpool they have 28 games played and they have 60 points so if we do win our game in hand we go an extra three points ahead of Liverpool who are second place third place are Arsenal with 57 points they are still level with West Ham United West Ham United are fourth Manchester City are sitting at fifth place with 55 points Tottenham are two points below them also however City they do have a game in hand so if City also win that game in hand, that could propel them into the top four and uh, make them sit at, uh, at third place ahead of Arsenal. Uh, we're going to scroll down to Chelsea. They're sitting at ninth, still level on points with Everton, who are 10th. And at the very bottom, very, very bottom, we have Middlesbrough at 18th, Nottingham Forest at 19th, and Sheffield United at 20th. So for the next episode, as you already know, we are going to be playing against Bayern Munich. We then have West Ham United in the FA Cup quarterfinals the team that we were supposed to have initially uh, but yeah we got them in the quarterfinals instead i'm gonna make sure i save it this time so we don't have to like announce that we've changed up the all the fixtures have changed and then we're gonna cap the episode off against brentford at home so yeah again it's probably gonna be another episode where we enjoy a lot of moaning on camera um, a lot of misplaced passing a lot of poor performances Hopefully it doesn't. T uh, we don't have to go to extra time if we do make a comeback against Bayern. Munich, hopefully we can win it in normal time, go straight through to the quarterfinals. Um, but yeah, yep, yeah, that's it for the today's episode. If you made it this far, please remember to smash that like button, sub to the channel if you are new, and also hit the notification bell so you know if I want to go live, premiere video, or upload one. I'd like to thank you guys for sitting through this episode and enjoying all the moaning and uh, just seeing me drained on camera and frustrated. Some of you guys are probably enjoying it um, because it adds to the entertainment. Uh, some of you guys probably don't like it. Uh, a lot of people have voiced their opinion about me moaning on camera. But yeah, um, yeah. again, I'd like to thank you guys for showing support for the channel, but this is me actually thanking you guys now. Um, yeah, I know I keep saying um, FM content is coming. It's just that 
too much is happening for me at the minute um everything is a, is completed in terms of like the 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 first season or the second season of the rebuild um i just need to record edit and put the video out so yeah you guys are, are definitely close to stumbling upon some new fm content so hold tight just please please be patient with me as you can really tell by the look of me and my probably my aura in this episode i am really drained and i am trying my best to try and um, be as enthusiastic have energy and try to put as much content out as possible but it's just me one me one only but again like i said thank you for the support so far thank you for tuning in and uh yeah thank you for having faith in the channel there's a lot of you guys keep commenting that uh this channel is underrated stuff like that definitely keeps you going keeps me motivated and um yeah continue continue to show appreciation if you do appreciate the content because it does go a long way for me but yeah take care for now peace